Hey hi friends welcome to my channel and this is the ninth video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to configure Starwind virtual SAN for VMware vSphere ESX host so so let's have some idea about my demo environment and previously I am using open open file uh, for the like uh, connecting the SAN or ISKC devices to my ESX host and now I am going to show you how to connect a uh, configure and connect I start with a virtual SAN to ESX host or vCenter. So I have installed my ESX host as previously I have one domain controller, one vCenter server and two ESX host which is ESX-01 and ESX-02. So I have installed Starwind on my physical machine if you want to verify here is my Starwind application if you want to download uh, if you want to install the Starwind you just go to Google and type the Starwind and there you can find the Starwind application and you can download the trial version or free version uh, they have some different different features if you want to check out just check out on Google and I have I have downloaded and installed Starwind uh, free application which is free edition so if you want to check out I just want to show you here you can see my Starwind virtual SAN version 8 and build number 999 so now so this is the Starwind just close it and now I'm going to launch the Starwind, uh, man Starwind management console here I have uh, like launch the Starwind uh, management console and here you can see my laptop is connected if you go and check my laptop is like host name so I am connected with Victor LP so and this is my IP address and if you want to disconnect you can disconnect the servers you can see host uh, vector hyphen LP is disconnected and if you want to connect you can just click on connect and now it's launching and here you can see the Starwind is connected with my uh, server which is my physical machine and you can see the license information like li server per license to multiple nodes and this is the license basically uh, included with license type Starwind virtual SAN two node free so this is like two node for unlimited free so on configuration you can find the data so I'm going I'm going to directly add a device and connect with my ESX source so I'm going to use the add device advanced button so click add device and I want hard drive to uh, hard drive device to connect out uh, ISKC so select device type you want to create or export as a ISKC target so I want I want you know, hard drive so click next and the physical RAM disk or virtual so I'm going to create a vis uh, virtual disk so click click next and I'm going to call it like you can see I can see 0 1 and I'm going to assign is 101 GB in a size click next and leave it default so leave it default here as well as so is right back and click next and specify the flash parameters don't want to specify anything here click next and here you can see we have choose the target to authenticate or you can attach with the old target so I have not created any target yet so I just want to go and create a new target and this is my alias name for desk and here you can see allow multiple concurrent ISKC connection this is required because I want both my ESX host to access the disk at the same time so let to know and here if you want to rename it you can rename the target name so I am going to define here like target and click next so we are all done the here's the task which needs to be going to be done by this creating device folder creating image file creating header creating device and creating target and attaching devices so click on create so all done we are you can see here i have connected with my iskc drive and we have one device image file one 
we have ice cushy session no ice cushy session for now and I'm going to add one more device with my this target so add device hard drive with the same and virtual drive and this time I'm going to define this like ice cushy 02 and the size would be 51 GB click next and think provisioned now leave it default right back leave it default and just click on create so it will create a two like ms file two and target name is same which we have used earlier so now what we have we have our ISKC and we have our two image file you can see the first one is uh, around 101 GB and second one image file is like 51 GB so we have two devices two disk with the this target so now what we do where we are going to connect this target uh, and both the devices on my ESX host so need to log in I have logged in in my vCenter server and here you can see my both ESX host on the configuration storage you can see the local storage is only connected with both the ESX host you can see so I'm going to map the device first with one of server so I am starting with my ESX ones and storage adapter we have my ISKC software adapter is already installed so go to properties here and under the dynamic discovery I am going to type my server path here 192.168.1.200 click ok so you can see here um, add I I internet ISKC so click it's asking to a rescan uh, host bus adapter is recommended for this configuration changes rescan adapter yes I want to rescan so that's rescanning and now you can see here we have connected target to both the drive devices 2 and path 4 because you can see I have assigned two NIC here for my ISKC connection so two connection for each so we have total four path and two devices here and now if I go to here on a devices is not visible here currently so we need to go to like here you can see the devices uh, here you can see the size 101 GB 51 GB so looks good and now I'm going to define this as a LUN so on a storage I'm going to just click on refresh so all thing is refresh and now I'm going to click on add storage and disk and LUN so create I'm going to use my LUN 0 first so of course VMS VMFS 5 and click next we have partition is created in use click next and data store name I'm going to call it like LUN 0 click next and you have a space how much space you want to use so I'm going to use the full maximum part so here's this thing data store name capacity and everything so looks good click on finish so it will add you can see creating VFMS VMFS data store and in process just give it some seconds to complete this so same I'm going to add my second desk here so learn one so going to add it so name it like learn one and click next next and 51 GB looks good click finish so it's running for my LUN2 and here you can see on a configuration page we have added LUN0 successfully here like capacity and the free space is here so just wait for a few more seconds it will add the second drive here which is LUN1 so here you can see both are operational normal everything looks good so just need to go and add the same LUNs on my second disk so here ESX2 and I'm going in storage adapter software as you can see no target connected no device no path go to properties 
and add the dynamic same to nick uh, to iscc next for iscc connection dynamic discovery i'm going to add my server address here 192168 and 1.210 click ok ok so it's rescan the adapter yes i want to rescan my all the adapters so you can see here we got the connection to target two devices and the four paths so seems everything okay here yeah? so you can see it's mounted and path we have four paths so looks good and just go to storage and this time I'm going to refresh it so we have inactive I'm going to mount this or give it some time oh here you can see the LUN is mapped automatically so everything looks good and we are connected with the both the ESX host with the LUNs which is coming from I, uh, uh, virtual SAN which is a Starwind so now if I go here you can see the ISCSI session 4 session and 2 session for my ESX01 and 2 session for my ESX04 02 so everything done so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye